Hello and welcome. I hope that the internet has done really well and it's connected me and we can go ahead with the live launch today. So hello and welcome. My name is Debbie and I'm a creative wellness mentor, artist and author, and I help people to find their way to learn how to do art that supports their well-being. And we're here today to have a look at the book launch, which Heather and I are here at Art for Wellness HQ, and we're really excited. Now, just to give a little introduction, I lead exclusive groups and memberships that help people who are struggling, who may feel insignificant, lost and alone. And it's for people that want to come out of the shadows to gain confidence through participating and engaging in creative activities that support well-being and mental health. And we do this through creative workshops and our exclusive well-being communities where members come together to help each other through creating wellness with art. That's Art for Wellness with Debbie Crouch. And I'm delighted to introduce a project that holds a special place in my heart, the All Together Art Book. Because in a world where the pace of life can sometimes be overwhelming, Art for Wellness offers a sanctuary and a haven for creativity and self-expression. And it started off with an idea a year ago where I wanted to be able to create a book that shared members' artwork. Because having a dedicated space where members were able to share their artwork, the sketches, their pictures, their unique way of being able to explore their emotions on paper, I wanted to be able to raise the awareness and let other people know how others have benefited from doing art to support their well-being. And I just wanted to start by telling a little story. Imagine Debbie 10 years ago, sat in a room of about 25 people on a course, knowing that the presenter was going to, at some stage, ask everybody to introduce themselves. And who was asked first? Me. And what happened? Well, I could feel my heart pumping. I could feel my head going. And I just burst into tears. Because the thought of talking about myself gave me so much fear, I just couldn't do it. Anyway, what happened is they went around the rest of the room and everybody gave their introduction. And I managed to mash together some sort of introduction at the end. But what it made me realise is that there was something holding me back from being able to do that. And then I want to mention what happened to me recently. Again, I was sat in a room of about 30 people. But this time, I knew that I was going to be introduced. And this only happened recently. But the difference is, when I was introduced to say Debbie goes first, I was filled with excitement. I was filled with passion. I knew exactly what I wanted to say. And I could share this with the audience. And they could understand what it was that I was talking about for Art for Wellness and how I've got a passion for supporting other people. And I even got a round of applause. And the moral of the story really is that it's about taking baby steps. It's about learning new skills. It's about ne networking and pre preparation. And joining communities with other like-minded people and finding the right place, connecting with people that you want to be with. Following your inner voice, reading, journaling, drawing and doing all those things that help you to relax and feel better. And that over time, if I could get from a position where I was too afraid to talk to myself, 
to passionately explode in than anybody can. So the project that was a year in the making was Altogether Art for Wellness book, where I came up with an idea that I wanted to be able to share members' artwork. Now, I just want to say thank you to members who submitted their artwork, who feature in this magnificent book. So we've got Sandia, Mary, Twyla, Cassie, Kirk, Judy, Jen, Tooby, Stephen, Lisa, Wendy, Leanne, Jean, Roshana, Fiona and Sue. Of course, to mention that Heather and I are part of the book as well, but it was more important that we could showcase what other people have been able to do. And it's with without the support that you, we've got from members, it wouldn't have been possible to do this. And I just want to be able to showcase that wellness is supported with art, that it touches, hand, it touches hearts and change minds. And it, it inviting you today is the exciting day to say the book is available. And the book is about a sneaky peek behind the scenes of how art can truly help you. So like I said, in this book, it's artwork by people who have used art to help the well-being and mental health and to raise awareness and reduce the stigma of mental health. But the exciting news is that the book has already gone global because this book has been launched on Amazon in the UK and it can also be purchased in the US, France and Australia, which I'll be happy to share the links below for anybody that's looking to buy. Now, we've still got the pre-launch offer on at the moment for £12.50 and it's only on for today. So if you did want to take advantage of that offer, you'd need to either message me if you're outside the UK um, or there's a link that I can put in for people to order. But it's the very last day that it's going to be available for £12.50 because after tomorrow it'll go up to the full price of 15 which, to be honest, is still a really good price. And remember, Creative Wellness Journey was set up as a community interest company. So any profits that are received automatically get reinvested back into the business to help and support those looking to learn how to use art to support the wellness. So I just wanted to finish off with my three top tips for today. And it would be, let's share the beauty of creativity you don't have to be good at art to have a go, and your style is enough. I'd also like to say in 2024, we do plan to do a second book featuring members' artwork. So for anybody who may be interested in joining, what I would suggest that you do is you go along to the website, register now as a bronze member, Join in the Facebook group and have a look and see what, what is available. Get to know the people that's in there. And then next time, it might be your art that's been featured. So that's all for now. Thank you for joining. And I look for, oh, just one more thing I wanted to say. Please pass on the details to anybody that you think may benefit from looking at this book. Because it would make a fabulous... Christmas present it would make a fabulous gift for anybody and the more that we can raise awareness then the better so that's all from me today or should I say that's all from me and Heather at Art for Wellness HQ thank you for joining us and do pop notes in the comments or pop me a message if you want to know more thank you